JC New Battery Health Repair Board. Standard support 11 to 15. Pro Max. A total of 11 battery extension lines, single mode. We use the iPhone 15 to demonstrate. And the current port battery health is 93. Turn off your phone. Take out the transplanted battery and fasten it on the battery seat of the quick repair plate. Connect the FPC output to the cell phone battery socket using the corresponding battery extension cable. Click the health minus arrow to reduce battery health. Click the health plus button to increase the battery health. Click cycle minus to reduce the number of battery cycles. Click cycle plus to increase battery cycle. Power shows the remaining power of the battery. We'll adjust the health to 100 and the number of cycles to 0. Quick confirm right. Quick confirm right voltage output. Then turn the phone on. After the battery data is modified, a pop-up window will appear after the phone is turned on for the first time. Just reboot the phone once. There's a good chance we can fix the data in one go. No pop-ups appear. Recharge the battery after the phone is turned off without restarting the phone. Check the battery health again after the phone is turned on. The battery health is successfully restored. Batch mode. We use this iPhone SE Sand to demonstrate. Turn off your phone. Take out the transplanted battery and fasten it on the battery seat corresponding to the quick repair plate. Connect the USB output to the cell phone battery seat using a commercially available universal power cord with data pins. Long press confirmation to switch to batch mode. Long press confirmation to switch to batch mode. Click the confirm button to write. After the write is complete, replace the battery and fasten it into the battery seat. You can see that batch mode retains the health and cycle time set by the user. You only need to replace the battery and click write to write data in batches. USB port. USB port. The USB interface can be used for the general power cord on the market. Measure the positive and negative paths of the power cable using a multimeter according to the labels. The GND negative electrode is measured first. The yellow line is the negative pole. Then measure a 4.25 positive level. The red is the positive electrode. Then the star and SCL paths are measured according to the identification. The star is measured first. The green one is star. The star is measured first. The blue one is SCL. After all the channels are confirmed, the power station can be welded on. Solder the corresponding path to the power bar using a soldering iron. B on the power bar corresponds to the star. C on the power bar corresponds to SCL. Test after welding. Test with iPhone 15. Take out the power supply and fasten it into the seat of the quick repair board. Then connect the power bar just welded to the seat of the cell phone battery. Turn on the phone. Open the phone and check whether the battery health is displayed normally. The battery health status is displayed normally. The USB port power cable is welded successfully. Remote upgrade. Use the data cable to connect the battery health repair board to the computer. Open JC Repair Assistant on your computer. Log in. Note that you have downloaded the battery speed repair driver. Click on accessories to repair. Automatic device upgrade system. Upgrade successfully. Always prevent new problems caused by iOS upgrades. iOS 17 the system changes the battery health. We use this iPhone shoe to demonstrate. Remove the battery and fasten it onto the quick repair plate seat. Use the appropriate battery extension cable or USB universal data cable. Connect the output to the cell phone battery carry. Set the health and number of cycles to be modified, click to confirm. Then use the data cable to connect the phone to the computer. Open a third-party platform on your computer. Click Smart Flash. Select Regular Flash. Flash the machine immediately. Note to check repair battery health during flashing when flashing the machine. Select other platforms as indicated in the figure. Confirm the flash. Flash finish. Then turn the phone on to check the battery health. The battery has been repaired. iOS 17 the battery health status is restored.